Everyone knows that fire extinguishers are a must-have item in homes and businesses, but most people might not know that different extinguishers need to be used under different circumstances. Did you know that having the wrong type of extinguisher can be worse than not having one at all? Proper use of a fire extinguisher can not only save your insured's property, it can save their lives. NFP A10, Standard for Portable Fire Extinguishers, explains the minimum requirements for portable fire extinguishers, but local ordinances may be stricter. Fire extinguishers are labeled according to the type of fire they can fight, A, B, C, D, and K. Some extinguishers are considered multipurpose, so their labels list more than one class of fire, such as BC or ABC. The A and B ratings on the extinguisher include number ratings based on Underwriters Laboratory, also known as UL, tests. They approximate the relative size of each class of fire it can handle. Class A, B, and C fires can be handled with multipurpose dry chemical extinguishers. Class A fires are of ordinary combustible material such as paper and cardboard. The extinguisher is generally filled with water pressurized with air. Water should never be used on fires involving grease, electricity, or Class D combustible metal materials, since it will actually cause the fire to spread or lead to an electric shock. Class B fires involve flammable liquids like gasoline, kerosene, or grease. Dry chemicals or foam are used to inhibit the fire by removing oxygen. Class C electrical fires have to be battled with fire suppressants like carbon dioxide that do not conduct electricity. This reduces the chance of electric shock. Once the electricity is shut off, these are just ordinary fires. Don't use a carbon dioxide extinguisher in a confined space because the carbon dioxide displaces the oxygen you need to breathe. Class D fires involve combustible metals like magnesium, potassium, and sodium. These fires generally occur in laboratories, machine shops, and machining operations. Class D extinguisher ratings are specific to the type of metal that's present and can only be used for Class D fires. The specific chemicals for each type of Class D fire must be on hand prior to starting work on metals. Extinguishers should be kept away from potential fire sources and close to an exit. They also should be properly mounted, inspected monthly, and serviced annually. In residences, fire safety experts recommend a dry chemical extinguisher for the kitchen and another one for the garage. NFP A10 requires that all commercial vehicles carry at least one fire extinguisher at all times. In restaurant kitchens, where the automatic extinguishing system is a wet chemical type, the portable extinguisher also needs to be wet chemical. This is important because a dry chemical extinguisher will blow the wet chemical from the fire and allow the fire to reignite. Many insurance policies include coverage to refill extinguishers that have been discharged to fight a fire. Disposable extinguishers must be discarded after use. Using fire extinguishers properly can help to reduce fire damage. Now that you're familiar with the ABCs of fire extinguishers, you'll be able to help your clients understand this key aspect of preventing and minimizing fire damage. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe for more informative content for insurance professionals from MSO.